Right now to Washington, D.C., where Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced late today that Donald Trump's second impeachment trial will start the week of February 8th. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will be sending the article of impeachment to the Senate on Monday, charging Trump with an inciting an insurrection for the deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. The nine prosecutors or impeachment managers who will make the case against the former president include two Colorado representatives, Joe Neguse and Diana Neguette. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, talked with DeGette about what to expect. Before the trial even starts, there's questions about whether it's constitutional to impeach someone who's no longer in office. But Congresswoman DeGette told me this is also about preventing Trump from ever holding office again. She says you can't run out the clock on accountability. If somebody robbed a bank and then you got the money back, you wouldn't say, well, we got the money back, so let's not prosecute him. A president could totally run amok in the last month of their pre presidency. And then, since the Senate couldn't try him in time, oh well. For the second time, Congresswoman Diana DeGette will play a key role in the impeachment of Donald Trump. She presided over debate in the House during his first impeachment and will prosecute the case against him in the Senate for his second. She says it's an open and shut case. The entire crime is either on video or on social media. But Republicans, even some who believe Trump committed an impeachable offense, are raising questions about due process, saying guilty or not, he deserves a defense. The Getz says the facts aren't in dispute. Said to everybody, come to Washington, D.C. on January 6th. So all his supporters came to Washington. And then he said, march up to the Congress and stop the counting. And so they broke into the, the, the Congress. Still, conviction isn't a sure thing. 17 Republicans need to join Democrats, and Trump loyalists will make them pay. DeGette wouldn't say if she's receiving threats, but the 25-year veteran of Congress is not easily intimidated. I'm never afraid because I'm doing the job that my constituents elected me to do. We need to bring this to closure. We need to convict him. We need to make sure he can never run for office again. It's unclear who will preside over the trial and if there will be witnesses, but given the constitutional questions, this is all but certain to end up before the U.S. Supreme Court. Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.